the Good Witch is like Hannibal Lecter claiming to be Santa Claus. Embody Lizzie Borden. Oh, it's time for JoJo to straighten up. You're possessed. You're dangerous to people. Some people really have a fear of heights. Ah! Ah! Girls, you walked into this room just as sluggish and boring as you walked out on that stage. Zero energy. I look at this pyramid, and I don't even want to do a group dance because you're lazy, you're lifeless, and you don't give me 150%. Now, this routine is about zombies, because that's what I think you are on stage. You get out there and you're like a zombie. You're like sleeping half the time. Holly, you're not working anymore. You have all the time in the world. So, you are in charge of the costumes. For the group number? Yes. Costuming is not my specialty. Give me a big, Grand plie and wiggle your head back. This week, the number called Glam is all about zombies. And after last week's travesty, I really need these girls to get it together. I need a win. The kids are busts on a statue. It's a very cool effect. I hope the judges get it. Make sure you hit that back attitude, Paige. Go, Nia. More, Paige. It's not little, it's big, Paige. Abby assigns me a challenge of creating the costumes for the group dance. I refuse to give her the satisfaction of seeing me fail. We are going to stick together as a group, and we are going to make the costumes, and we're going to do them fabulous. We are ripping costumes. We're cutting things up. We're distressing them. Kelly is taking all of her frustrations for Abby out on this poor little prom dress on the floor. She's, like, digging it into the dirt, like, I hate you, Abby. Oh, my God! That looks distressed. Five, six, seven, go. Energy, what are you doing? Come on! That one to make me get up and dance? Boring, yawning, sloppy, lazy. When I walked into the dressing room, I was thoroughly impressed. Woo, looking good. They looked like statues. Abby, what about this photo blood? I've Hello. never made blood before. I think, honestly, that Abby expected me to fail. I don't think she thought I could pull this off. Listen to me. When you step out there, I want you to look like somebody turns you on. Let's give me 150% energy. Let's suck those judges in, and let's win. <laughs> that our girls did on stage. The acting was great, the makeup, the costumes, everything just came together. I'm speechless. The performance was excellent. The energy was great. I don't think Abby's going to have any complaints about that. And our top scoring energy junior small group goes to entry number 135 AM, Abby Lee Dance Company. The costume, the makeup, the choreography, it all worked together. We are back on top. Yay! 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 You went first, but everything was the last yay. time that happened. Yay! Oh, win! Yay! Good job, ladies. Thank you. Good job, Holly. Thank you. I'm so excited to have a solo this week entitled Lizzie Borden, and it's a character piece. Oh, that was really cool. She has to let her head whip the. Okay, good. Thank you. Oh, had a bad ending. Maddie is back in the studio with her team, and this is a big week. She hasn't won first place yet this year, so it's really important that she wins this weekend, and it's really important that she axes the competition this week. You have to embody Lizzie Borden. I mean, she was a whack job, or you need to be freaky that people are afraid of. 
all right? Abby puts a lot of pressure on me to win, and it does get a little bit nerve-wracking, and I do get stressed out because this is only my second solo of the season, and I really want to show Abby that I can win. Judges, next up, we have number 302, Lizzie Borden. I feel that every time I do a solo, Abby expects me to win, and I do get a little bit stressed out sometimes because I always want to be in my best game and I don't want to mess up on one thing. Gorgeous. I love not only what's in your eyes, but the, what's behind the eyes. And so that's what scary movies are all about. It's all about what's behind the eyes. And you have an amazing technique that it's just there. Thank you. Nice to see you. Maddie was beyond anybody I've ever seen on stage. It's just so amazing. And she is fabulous. We have lots of work to do today. The name of the group routine is Clowning Around. It's about somebody being frightened by a clown. There are clowns who are actually serial killers. They are attacking people. That's what it's about. Okay, so, fan kick down, pot of boray, glee sod, straddle leap. Let me see you just do that before we keep turning the Tom and Potter right, because we might just shot or run, run. Okay, go ahead. Really work your turn out, Brenton. When you PK backwards, you're on a sickle left foot. The featured dancer of Clowning Around is Brent. Brent is really emerging as a strong dancer, but she's not delivering the emotion. Be frightened and scared. This story is ripped right from the headlines. People are dressing up like clowns, and I'm going to remind the girls of that. I have a little trick up my sleeve. Seeing that clown makes everybody realize just how serious this matter is. Maybe now they'll put a lot more into the routine. We're coming off of a loss last week. We need to be back on top. I don't like to lose. Let's go quickly. Quiet! Nationals are coming up. Everybody on this team has to pull their weight. Some of these girls risk the chance of getting cut from this team. The competition is tomorrow, and the group routine is difficult. This group better nail it especially Brent. She's the leader. What did your face do? Oh my God, she just leaped right into you. You're shocked. You're like too drugged out. Open your eyes, you're afraid. Ashley, get in here. That doesn't sound good. I'm nervous for her. I'm nervous for her too because I see no emotion now. I think you think you're doing it with your face, but you're not. You look sad. You don't look scared to me. See that face right there? If we make brain dolls, that's the face it's gonna have. You need to emote, or I look like the fool because I picked you and not her. This clown routine for Brynn is going to be do or die. Some people in real life really have a fear of clowns. All right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I want to get back on that winning streak. Brent, pressure's on. Will you be beautiful? Yes. 
I need more than that. I need to see you scared, frightened, nervous. All right, let's go. Uh, next is act number 51. We have a small group doing an open routine. Clowning around. are ready to start a war. I saw a lot of mistakes in the group, but I don't know if the judges see that. I don't know from their angle. They're so close to the dancers, but if they don't win with this routine, I am serious about making changes on this team. Coming in first place with a score of 294. That went to entry number 51, clowning around. <laughs> Everybody tell us why you dance. Happy Lee Dance Company! Congratulations, ladies. Presley, your piece is inspired by Annabelle, a possessed doll. Sit down. You are the doll on the shelf. You're possessed. You're dangerous to people. Yes? OK, so you're here. You're going to flex your right foot and take your right head this way. Can share music. Presley has been consistent all season. She's proven herself over and over to be a strong dancer, a strong team member, a good representation of Abby and of this team. If Presley dances like she did in her solo last week, Presley can take home this national title. Down, watch your feet behind you, and sink. Abby's in there telling Presley that last week she was a breath of fresh air. Ashley, she was beautiful last week. Thank you, Anna. I did see a different Presley. That's what I've been saying all along. That's who my kid is. You know, over the last 16 weeks, she's improved, and she wants to see her channel that and bring it to the stage. Right. the entire season. I mean, the fact of the matter is, it has not always been easy. Taking second place overall, Speech of Foxes. If Presley wins, it would be validation for everything that we've gone through since we've been here. Now, your highest scoring national champion solo will be... Limit. I've never not placed. Never. Ever. Not even when she was five but I feel like she didn't do her best because Abby left, and that's frustrating. So this weekend, we are going to Roanoke, Virginia. This competition is called Dance Troupe International. I kind of heard a little rumbling that 
The Wicked Witch is going to fly in. When I hear that we're up against the candy apples, I dread it because I know it's going to bring out the worst in Abby. The group routine is entitled The Witches of East Canton. <laughs> Maddie, you bring light to the stage. You are the good witch. Me. You'll be portraying me. And the rest of you will be the evil. So I want to see your true witchiness come through. You can channel your moms. Kathy has a new team. She's back to all the boys. Learning that the new Candy Apples team is made up of boys, there's this pressure that the girls have to produce. I'm going to demand perfection from my team. It's going to be faster choreography. They're going to be tighter and clean. Abby being the good witch is like, I don't know, Hannibal Lecter claiming to be Santa Claus. Like, it's ridiculous. When you have Kathy and Abby, you have blurred lines. I don't know if you could say <laughs> one's a good witch and one's a bad witch. This is the last day of rehearsal before we leave for competition. Well, my routine better be flawless. We need to win, and I will stop at nothing until that happens. Maddie, you're the queen in the fairy tale. They're the evil witches. You need to be beautiful. That hand isolation needs to be bigger and sharper. I'm watching these kids rehearse. The group number is an absolute mess. We're really not ready. This number is not competitive. My dance just killed it. Mackenzie, oh my gosh, amazing. It's a happy moment for me. Now, I'm going to say something, and I'm not hurting your feelings. Just man up. I want to be Vince Lombardi, and I want to pump you all up and tell you you're going to go out there and win, but I'm just a realist. I'm trying to tell you that when you step out on that stage, sometimes your best isn't good enough anymore. What kind of pep talk is that? Give them a little bit of encouragement, please. Kathy had an amazing little girl on her team. I just want the judges' eyes totally on Maddie. You have the opportunity to go up against this girl. It's like you're competing your solo against her solo. Is it going to be enough? I don't know about Maddie. Performing the Witches of East Canton, this is the Abby Lee Dance Company. You are the distance, you are a thief, you are the power, the only belief. I can how to trust you, fighting a way how to get through. No, I can't take it, I can't take it. The devil it keeps, the devil it keeps it on. If we were going up against anybody else, I'd say we have this one in the bag. But we're going up against a team full of boys. It's in the judges' hands now. Second place overall junior age division small group goes to contestant number 193, Wild Party Candy Apples Dance Center. I am in complete shock. Our dance was way better. I'm not standing around waiting to watch this woman gloat. I'm out of here. OK, we are just walking. We're not engaging. Ugh. And now, ladies and gentlemen, receiving our overall award, first place junior age division for small group level two, number 194, the Witches of East Canton, Abby Lee Dance Company. Where'd they go? 
I did not think that we were going to pull out this way. Kathy, you're a wicked witch, and the house of Abilene just fell on you. Goodbye. You need to struggle. There needs to be like a zoom, zoom. It's time for JoJo to straighten up. So why not put her in a straight jacket? She's loud, and she's big, and she's blonde. So I want to rein her in and work on her technique. Flex that foot harder. You're dropping on your heel. Watch your posture, JoJo. Finish your movement. Gianna Kalani should be the one doing the solo. Get your act together. All these faces you're doing, you're not focusing on the three people judging. Your head's all over the place. This is a very important routine. It can be make it or break it. JoJo, it's a tough number to get through. It's the technique. It's getting that hip down and that leg turned out. One last thing, remember, kids are judging you. So go out there and win. Please welcome JoJo to the stage with Straighten Up. This dance is a huge challenge for JoJo. Not being able to use your arms, you got to have a strong center. JoJo, you have got to nail this. Amazing. I think I've done enough to win. Third place. Goes to act number 32, suspended. <laughs> Second place. Goes to act number 38, hopeless wanderer. And first overall. Goes to act number 54, Untouchable. I don't ever think that. That's it. You know, JoJo danced really good today. I mean, you go into awards with certain expectations, and when you don't even place in the top five, you're like completely blown away. I don't think these kids that are judging know talent when they see it. JoJo, it's OK, honey. It's right. You danced good. No one can take so that away. You. Good. you did good. I have to remind my students, I think students are sometimes harsher on their peers than teachers. Abby, she's going to no. dance. No. Oh, no. She's going to dance. I know. I disappointed her. Benji, I need to know. No, like no you didn't. You danced good. But you danced but good. You just didn't score well. She's not going to be upset. We didn't have top solo in any age group. Do I expect more? Yes. Everybody can have an off day, but. You don't have an off day when we're leaving LA. You want to leave on a high note. This week, the group is dancing like a really dark, scary contemporary number called Light as a Feather, Stiff as a Board. It's about a bunch of little girls at a sleepover, and they're playing around with a Ouija board, which Chloe is the lead, and she becomes possessed, and she gets to play this dark role, which, hey, it's the lead. I'll take it. 
the new team. They're amazing and they have their dance together, but we just have to show them that we've been dancing together forever. We need to show them that there is something special about knowing who you've danced with. It's apparent now that Abby's doing everything in her power to set it up for the other team to win. There is nothing we can do. Let the best team win. Girls, you remember the last time we were at Sheer Talent. It was the incident with Telly. Well, I think we already had an incident, and they're still here. Get her out. She can't suspend her two youngest members of your team because you have all teenagers. You couldn't yeah, compete lie, against us. Yeah. If Abby didn't need you guys right now, you'd be gone. This is the Abby Lee Dance Company. I make the rules. OK, judges. Entry number 62 is a preteen group contemporary, The Rapture. And could it be this is how it's always been? I need this team to understand that life is just not fair. And when life's not fair, you have to fight back. But does the Junior League competition team have any fight left in them? Entry number 63 is a preteen group contemporary, light as a feather, stiff as a board. did it. They were amazing. But is it enough for a win? We have our preteen groups. In second place, we have entry number 63, light as a feather, stiff as a board. And in first place, can I have a drum roll, please? Entry number 62, the rapture. When we got called to second place, I was so devastated because I actually thought we were going to win this one today. Abby said, may the best team win, and obviously we didn't win. No, no tears, no, no tears. tears. You know what? They were better. They won. Life's not fair. Life is not fair, but you know what? These kids deserve better. You're wasting my time, and I'm not getting paid to stand down here and argue with you. Maddie, stop crying. Tell her to stop crying. 